<laughs> Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, likers, dislikers, commenters, you new subscribers, the old subscribers, and some of uh, generally anybody who's still hanging around on this channel, which is, as you can probably tell, is biteless at the minute. I am sitting in a month in, still no bike. I have given the Grand back. It is not my bike to add miles to. I cannot do it. I cannot put some miles on someone else's bike. As you can probably see, this is what I have to remind me of my bike. Good news is that we have found the problem with the XT. The, the crank bolt that holds gears onto the bike has came loose. Obviously because I was a, a dummy and didn't put oil in it. So yeah. Always check your oil before you go on a long trip. I know I should have done this and I am reaping the wouldn't say benefits of doing this right now. Um as for return time of the bike, I am counting on the day that this video goes out, which will be Monday morning. It should be in the midst of getting the engine put back in the bike, as you've probably seen on Facebook. The frame is in the bike cleaning shop getting cleaned, and the engine is in the mechanic shop getting fixed. And I'm stuck sitting here with plastics, a seat, and yes, it needs a new tyre when it comes back. And on top of that, I have to book my MOT, and the tax is coming up, so I'm paying for all this stuff that I don't have. Some of you might actually have realised that I did actually consider buying a different bike at one point. I know I mentioned it to a few people and I did actually investigate into it, but due to a few personal financing circumstances I was a bit sort of shot in the foot on that one by family members. And uh, really I want to say a big thank you to Motorcycle Valid NI for basically shaving the years off the bike. and. The big thank you obviously has to go to PBS, Pit Lane Motorcycles. Uh, left the bike in not knowing what was wrong with it. They obviously took the time and helped me investigate what was wrong with it. Um, everything in the engine is solid, bar a stupid nut and bolt that came loose or a nut. I, I just really annoying when I think about it. So yes, big thank you to those guys for really helping me. Um, as well for Jay, for lending me the, the Grom, the MSX, whatever you want to call it. It's it's about time the XT came home. I, I'm actually getting fed up now and I want my bike back. People on Twitter and Instagram sending me pictures of them doing wheelies on theirs and burnouts. It doesn't help. But obviously, I have to wait. It was my fault. Um, as for things that have happened off the bike, I have interviews being lined up, I have competition lined up, I have possibly a run in September, I'm thinking about running in Northern Ireland, so you know if you don't want to go you know I'll tell you where it is, you can avoid it. Um, also the BSB trip is on, I am heading to the BSB and a special friend has kindly sort of hooked me up slightly so we'll see how that trip goes um also would like to say at the end no actually i'll give it two weeks two weeks from this video get your questions onto the video this here one and we'll do a q a session i'm coming up on a thousand subs soon maybe next year maybe next year after that so maybe get the questions in again if you haven't seen it i will link somewhere in the space that the bike should be. I will link my previous video if I can find it. And don't forget, always help the biker out at the side of the road. I can't stress this enough. Driving around this weekend there's been several. Oh, and don't don't worry, no Pokemon Go on this channel. As always, thank you for your support. I want to thank you all for asking how the bike is and clearly ignoring my feelings on how it, how it is and as always 
don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe in the next week, I'll be on some sort of bike if I haven't got jailed for doing something that I really shouldn't have done. Incoming! <laughs>